Hello, and welcome back to, uh, I died. Look, I have my regular face. I don't have the Kermit face, which uh, I'd rather have the Kermit face. So we're going to thank Sweater. Pretty sure that's how you actually say the name of the creator of that area. Well, I'm going to thank that dude and say, hey, we got equipment. Don't know that it's great, but it's great for me because otherwise I'd have nothing. It's not entirely true. I got a lot of stuff. I just got to slowly work through it. So we're going to get a, a token. It's not called a token. It's called a, a totem. A totem. And we're going to get levels. They're called levels. We're going to get up to eight. It doesn't matter which one I use. We're going to take power three, unbreaking one, and make it worth our while. Do I need blocks? I probably need blocks, even though if I die again, I'm just going to drop my blocks. So I fully decked myself out, and I went back, and I did it off camera thinking, man, this area is difficult with mob spam not cool let's go look at the name of the area so i can i, I actually can't go look at the name of the area well i can but it's really far out of my way let's go look no wait let's go look here let's go look here oh it doesn't say here it doesn't say why don't you say here fine fine we're gonna do it it's morning time, so I feel awkward talking to myself in my room more so than usual. <laughs> I might sound a little different, trying a different mic, mic placement. Honestly, I need to replace this microphone, but who's got the money for that? Not me. This is a long walk just to complain to someone specific. So I went into the area off camera, and I made some progress. And I wasn't meaning to or intending to make progress. I actually made it to what I think is the final room at least of that section that I was exploring. Uh, I, I didn't open anything. I didn't explore any chests or anything. I just uh, disabled the area. This is the first time I considered in this whole map of switching to creative mode to break a few spawners or go get my stuff. I didn't. It's probably Nobilis or Nobilize, but I'm going to say Noblies. Noblies? <laughs> what are you doing to me? It ain't right. Mob spam is a real condition. I've never switched to creative mode. I've never switched to peaceful mode. So for one, I don't want to do that just because I don't want to break my record. But for two, with as many people as were involved with this map, I would totally put in some sort of detection to either mock or severely hinder... <laughs> Anyone that switches game modes while they're in the map. And I'm afraid. I'm afraid of that happening. So, my first claim was uh, the creatures in here aren't despawning. I don't know if that's true or not. I th think more so they just spawn really fast. I didn't, I didn't bring, of course I didn't bring a pick. Why would I bring a pick? See, that one's not even spinning. But then there's some spawners up above that are definitely spinning. Okay. And so, I need to really, oh gosh, I think. I think I need to take the time to take these out. The problem is, that's the problem. Even with this power something or other, it's uh, it's not powerful enough. 
Now, I am totally gunning it. But I also know if I can get up here, I'm safe. Because I've been up here before. Now, my first off-camera attempt, of which I definitely made way more progress than I had intended to. Um, I just, I was, there was so much chaos going on that I had to rush up here. And I did not expect to make it at all. I expected this portion of the video to take the majority of the, the thing. So I made it here. I made it this far. None of my items from the first time I made it up here were alive. But the items from my second attempt were still here. <laughs> so that's great. I never want to be here again. I really don't like those creatures, which should make me concerned about future endeavors. Slow falling? That might be really nice. I don't actually need that potion stand. I can already make infinite potion stands, but I did just get a nether wart, which is really cool. If I had not gotten a nether wart, I would have gotten a nether wart from this area. If I had not thought to craft an enchanting table, which I did from diamonds from this area. There is, in one of those trap doors, which I only saw as I whizzed by, an enchanting table. Basic iron, chainmail, diamond helmet with mending, that's nice. Protection 4 and breaking 3, that's probably nice. Some basic stuffs. Let's just grab it while we're here. These little cameras everywhere, which are terrible. F1 race car display. Nice. Supplies for golden apples. You can just give me the golden apples. Oh my gosh, the blue wool. I really want to be able to loot this area. But these creatures, they make it impossible. Maybe. Maybe it's because I'm just so behind in the times. If I knew how to fight them, it wouldn't be an issue. Maybe it's just that one spawner that's terrible, and if I could jump down on it from above, <laughs> then I'd have time to get all these things. I don't know. Not quite sure. Ooh, avoid that, please. Boyfect. Okay, I just lost my train of thought. Cats were in the room. Had to get them out. <laughs> Early morning. There are many aspects of this area that I did enjoy. And I definitely want to try to off-camera get to some of these places. Especially the chicken. And then maybe, maybe we can find something interesting there. Or maybe... As I approach it, it will spawn so many horrible things that I could not hope to survive. <laughs> I don't know. Do I sound like a person who's been abused? We are here. We are here. Thanks to the support. Maybe two of you. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> There are no refunds. Well, I certainly would like one. All right, let's kind of just dump. What do I need? Do I have a basic pick? 
are my plosives popping? Yeah, that's fine. Fortune one's not going to do me nothing. I'm thinking... Somewhere... Might be helpful. And... I don't think slow falling is going to help. Unless I build a platform underneath. Okay. I don't want a split episode where I try to find... <sighs> Brown? Brown's supposed to be... I don't know how true it is. I tried to look up a wiki on what the different colors of the different CTM means. Uh, go figure a hmm, subculture of a subculture of a subculture. So you got to be into Minecraft, then you got to be into CTM, and then you got to be into making wikis and gathering information. There's not a lot of information specifically to the CTM genre just out there, at least in a very SEO'd website. Let's think about approach here. And the first thought is to get up on that saucer, but it has a bouquet of spawners. The next thought is to traverse the lowlands here, of which I think there are spawners specifically to dissuade such a thing. I do have I do have a totem. So we get one free mistake. The totem does not it's not exactly a second life. Because it really only regenerates. Oh my gosh. I. Ah. I'm pressing the wrong buttons. Where are you? Come here. Stick with mouse wheel for now. Not try to be fancy. I think I'm okay. Pretty tree, ouch. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't like, for the most part, to split an episode in half between areas. And that's just a personal preference. Maybe someone wants to just see one area. It also makes the description a little more complex, which who the heck cares except for I do because I hate playing the YouTube game to begin with. Uh, I feel like if I just go straight up, I'm at least not going to be at risk of any other spawners. I will, however, most likely be at risk of whatever is in the chicken in the UFO. I don't exactly have a ton of blocks, so I probably shouldn't spend too much time making a little mini area. I should have more than enough to get up here. As I get up higher, I need to be incredibly careful. Because who know? Who knows? 
what waits for us up here. I certainly do not. Torches make sure if there are spawners within the body of this duck, chicken, thing, alien. They don't just spawn out and knock me off. And although it is a beautiful sculpture, digging from within the body helps me get up a little more safely. Uh-huh. Don't know what you were. Don't know if you spawned. Let's do a quick peek. I don't think it did. All right, we're very high up. So then the question is, what's in the UFO? Oh gosh, is 20 blocks enough? Uh, not if I fall down, that's for dang sure. Oh my gosh, please. Please stop jumping around wrong. All right, well, we're in this together now. If I don't survive, find a way to blame someone other than me. We should be able to grab enough blocks from the UFO in order to get into the UFO. Oh, but blocks above my head must also be removed. And the question is, was it worth it? Well, I got a nickel. A nickel for your trouble. And enough prismarine crystal to do something with it. Anything hidden? There's something up there. <laughs> I don't care. I can't be bothered to care. Well, I think this episode was more about therapy than anything else <laughs> of this terrible tower. But we're going to call it here, and I will see you next time, and we will explore Brown Wool.